All right then, here we go. My name is Daniel. This is a triathlon Dan YouTube channel. And this is the beginning of my winter training 2023. I'm kicking off with a lunchtime run, 45 minutes, just nice and steady. Six times 20 second strides. I've tried to start my winter training a couple of times over the last few weeks, but whether it's been, been because of life, or been because of niggles, or just been because I've not felt ready to start training properly, it hasn't happened. I wanted to get cracking early September, but now I find myself beginning of October, now feeling ready to crack on. That's not a terrible place to be in. I know some people are still racing this year. I want to have a really good and consistent winter so I can hit spring in a lot better position than I have hit spring this year, is the plan. If I was to rank my strengths in the sport of triathlon, my main strength is cycling, second is running, and third is swimming. And that's gonna be the underpinning of my winter. I'm gonna really work on those weaknesses because they're the areas where I stand to potentially gain the most. So the swim and the run are going to be big focuses. Now I also do bike racing and crit racing. I do want that to be a focus for next year as well. So therefore my bike training this winter is going to centre around the demands of roads and road and crit racing is the plan. I know those things might sound quite different, but that's the idea. I've not just got my finger in the air with training anymore. I'm working with a coach like on a one-to-one -one basis. This coach has set me my training to do day in, day out. I'm going to commit to the process, not get put off by me having a poor week or two and really see how the winter's going to benefit me. Hopefully along the way, this journey is motivating to you if you're training for cycling or triathlon. And it's certainly motivating to me knowing that this is so public. So hope you enjoy. Six times, 20 second strides done. Apart from the fifth one was 40 seconds because I just forgot to look at my watch. I felt okay. I know this comes across like Mr. Motivator, Mr. Positivity. The reality is, is that I was quite unwell a couple of days ago and I've really struggled mentally in the last few weeks, motivating myself to train, but also coping with not being able to train at full capacity. So that's been difficult. I don't really know what the answer is to that. Other than going forward now, I am going to be training properly. I do, however, need to keep in mind, I'm a few kilos heavier than I was mid-race mid season, and I'm not as fit as I was mid-race season. So if I was just to dive straight back in and doing how much training I was doing then, I'm going to get injured. So this is going to be a few weeks of easing in, gradually building it up, speaking to coach, to listen to how I feel, all those sorts of things. I think that's quite relatable for a lot of people, isn't it? So look forward to documenting it. Anyway, I'll leave the stats on screen from today's run. I think it's going to be about 45 minutes or so. Feel good. And I'll see you tonight for a bike session. Okay, so tonight's session is a repetition of last week's session. It's 40 20s, 30 30s, 20 40s. If you don't know what that is, it's 10 sets off, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. The on is at about 110, 115% of threshold. The off is just recovery, five minutes recovery, 10 times 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, five minutes recovery, 10 times 20 on. 40 off, not something like that. Not actually that difficult of a session, but it is fairly intense, as in when you're on, you're over threshold. So that's gonna be pretty much the theme of my winter, I feel, but this shouldn't be too difficult. However, I am four days post, or three days post, oh hello, you all right? Uh, post ride my bike for 15 hours a day, in the one day. So I don't really know how my legs are gonna feel, but you all right so far? Let's get stuck in. Job done and dusted. Stats on screen. There we go, that'll do. That was a good workout. Before I go on to the workout, I do just want to say, next Monday, which is Monday the 9th of October, is going to be my, well, my third Zwift group ride. My second one with a guest. Thank you to those who turned up the night to ride with myself and Harry Palmer. Harry Palmer and I. I don't currently have a guest for next Monday, but I am quietly confident that I'll be able to rustle up somebody. However, if you've got any special requests, or better still, if you are somebody who wants to be the person that rides with me on Zwift on a Zoom call, you don't need to be on Zwift, the Zoom call is probably, probably more important. Monday Night Social Spin, please do let me know via any means you like, comments, messages, etc. I'm really looking forward to getting out for Monday Night Social Spin. That session then, that was difficult. I've spent the last few weeks telling Coach 
I'm tired, I'm ill, I've got a niggle, uh, too much work on, like life in the way, like all these things that do happen in life, I cannot be saying that much more. I need to be cracking on with training. So in that first block of 40-20s, that was really difficult. My legs were screaming, but I knew that the second block was going to be on paper a bit easier. And the third block is quite easy, especially when you just stick to the prescribed power. When I did the session the last week or week before, I really went above the power on the last 20 second efforts. I didn't do that tonight, I just stuck to it. So really glad to get that done. I have got a little bit of a hip niggle still, came on post run today, but I'm gonna do all the stuff to manage it and hopefully that'll be okay. But that is it, that is day one. I'm calling it day one of winter training. What's coming up in the next few days? Pretty much a lot more of this. And then next week, I'm going to get some swim tuition. It's been a long time coming, some proper like one-to-one -one basis. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. This winter is gonna be a roller coaster and Luffy's coming for the ride. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock.